Hey guys and welcome. So it is currently mid-November and every November I participate in a no-shave November through work and while I'm doing no-shave November I kind of cheat a little bit as someone pointed out in my last video. I do trim up a little bit of the edges. I trim up here on my cheeks and down here just to keep a little bit more of a clean cut look. You know every day is part of my job. I'm interacting with patients either in the operating room, the emergency room, on the floors, and clinics. So I think keeping a professional look for me, it's at least something that's important to me and I think that it's appreciated on the uh, patient care side of things. So while I grow out my facial hair, I do like keeping it uh, trimmed up. So like I said, it's mid-November right now, so it's been growing out for about two weeks. Uh, I have done three trims so far. Uh, I can't remember, I think I made maybe one video so far, but I haven't done a full video yet of the, uh, the trims I do, but I'm going to do a little trim today and I want to make a video. So for today's trim, I'm going to be using a special razor that I have uh, never used before. It's new to me. This is the Razor Rock Hawk. Here it is. You can take a look at it. We'll do a little bit of a close-up. So the special thing about this razor, well, there's a few things. Is first of all, this is a single-edge razor. So most of us out there use safety razors, which are like this. This is my Mercor 34C. And there's two edges here on the blade. You put in a double-edged safety razor blade, and then there's a blade exposed on both sides of the razor. There's another type of blade out there that's a single edge, like which is in this type of razor. And these razor blades are made by Feather and Kai. And based on the research I've been able to do, it's the same company. They're a little bit longer razor blades. Well, let's take a look here. It's about 20% longer, just kind of eyeballing it based on my specifications. Um, here, we'll let's take a quick look here, first of all, at the Razor Rock Hawk. So here it is. You can see kind of a standard handle. It's all aluminum razor. And here's the head on here. You can see that there's just one blade right there. As opposed to my Mercor 34C, which has two heads on it, or two razor blades. And when we compare here, it's about Come on, focus. It's about 20% longer. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that here. Anyway, uh, not getting the focus I want, but you can see it's about 20% longer. So aside from these blades being longer, these were originally designed by uh, Feather for their Artist Series, kind of their, uh, it's kind of like their high-end shavette that they make. Um, but these razor blades, they're not just simply single-edge razor blades. Like I mentioned, they're longer. They're also made of a thicker steel in here. So they don't behave. They're not quite as flexible as the DE razor blades. So these are supposed to be incredible blades. Kai, I know, makes incredible safety razor blades, as does Feather, some of my favorite blades out there. Um, but these are supposed to be a little bit thicker. They're supposed to be amazingly performing, but you have to be a little bit more careful. You're supposed to use a little bit of a lighter touch because these are very sharp and also not quite as flexible. So I'm going to be really careful that today. It's my first time using this razor. The nice thing about this Hawk from Razor Rock, this is a newer razor from them. They have two versions of this. They have a all chrome version, which is $20, and then this black version, which is $25. It's made out of aluminum, so um, hopefully it'll help me give uh, a lighter touch to my shave here because I don't want to be using much pressure. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have 15 days of facial hair growth. Obviously, this is not all coming off today. And I have, um, it'd be three and a half days of growth here, kind of below the line and up here on my cheeks. I think you guys can see the line here that I established before. Um, you know, it's grown in really nice and I think it gives it a nice look. So I did just get out of the shower, facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. For today's shaving soap, I'm going to be using the Reef Point Soaps Test Depth. I love Reef Point Soaps. These are tallow soaps, and Test Depth is definitely my favorite scent of theirs. Incredible, kind of aquatic marine scent to it. It's amazing. And here is blooming walls in the shower. I'm going to add the bloom water to my facial hair. I do see a hair from my previous shaving brush hanging out here in the water. Oh, there's actually two of them. So sometimes when you load up, um, you'll lose uh, hairs from your brush. And sometimes they'll just get caught in the pocket. Okay, I can't get that one. All right, I'm just going to add the bloom water. So I'm just shaving cheeks and neck, so that's just where I'm focusing on uh, applying this. There we 
go. All right. So for today's shaving brush, I am using the Sterling Synthetic. This is their 22 millimeter knot. This is a nice little knot. Um, it's a smaller brush, but I thought that this would be good just because I'm shaving in smaller areas today so I didn't have a giant brush, just for size comparison or something. Here we go, this is my Samog 830. You can see, this is still a pretty short brush, but you can see this is a smaller knot size on there. All right. Nice thing about synthetics is you don't have to pre-soak them, so this is completely dry. Just gonna wet it here in the sink water. Bring it out nice and gently, and load up. All right, that's enough. I always overload, but I'm gonna try to rein it in today. All right, I'm just gonna go into a little face slather here on my cheeks. Alright, so now I'm spending some extra time painting this over so I can see the line that I want to get. Kind of thinning out the lather a little bit. And I'm definitely okay with that because I just want to make sure I keep these nice clean lines. I can see what's going on there. I'm happy with that. Just adding a little bit of alum to my fingers. All right, let's get started. I'm eager to use this razor. I've uh, I've never used a single edge razor before. I know there's a lot of them out there on the market. I know uh, Above the Tie makes one. Mongoose makes one. Uh, there's others too. There's like the General um, and a few others. But anyway, this is my first one. So let's see how it goes. Keep a nice light pressure. Let's start up here. I didn't mention what type of blade I have in there today, and the water is just dripping on the box, so I wanted to get the box out of the way. I figured I'd show you guys the razor blades. I'm using these Kai uh, Captain Titan Mild. These are also known as the Kai Pink. These are recommended to me by. Uh, Joe at Italian Barber. When I bought the razor, I asked him what kind of blades I should get, and that's what he recommended, so that's what I got. And these blades are a little more expensive. That was like somewhere around 20 bucks for 20 blades, so you're about a dollar blade, so it's more expensive than uh, safety razor blades by far. All right. I can tell this thing's sharp. It's a little bit interesting using a wider blade like this. It just, uh, you know, I can't kind of do a swipe down this way. It's far too wide. That's nice. Without the bulk of the razor head on the other side here, it's a little bit easier to see the line I'm going for. It really works well in this application. I'm going to go up here.
Alright, just a really simple first pass there. Wow, those blades are sharp for sure, even the mild ones. So I'm not doing a full re-lathering, I'm just using some of this lather here in my uh, beard to reapply. Wow, holy cow, that's really smooth. Jeez, I'm just going to do a little bit of a cleanup pass, but I'm not even sure that I really need to. Same with down here. Wow. It's pretty impressive. These blades are really nice. I'm really happy with how that razor feels. You can definitely feel the sharpness of those blades, but they're, they're still mild. You know, it doesn't give you a uh, no harsh feeling on your face. Alright, second pass, just a little bit of a cleanup. There's really nothing down here to get. This is very, very smooth. There's a little bit there. All right, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up. All right, just a little clean up there, but that looks great. I'm very happy with that. That was really, really easy. This is very smooth, no missed tears. Looks great down here. I have oh, one little small nick there, nothing big. Got a nice clean line here again, clean lines up here. Very happy with that. So I'm going to include something in today's video that I usually don't show you guys. It's kind of my uh, razor cleanup uh, that I do at the end of every shave. I figured it was important for this shave due to the price of the blades for single edge blades. Uh, you know, I don't want to use this for one, two, three shaves and be done with it. Hopefully this thing can last a while. So when I'm done, first thing I do is I just loosen up the head. I don't disassemble the head of the razor. I just make it loose on there. You guys can see it just kind of spins on there. And I run it under the water. The hope there is to get out any residue stuck in there. Any soap, hairs, anything like that. So I just do that a few times. Then I... Kind of shake it out, re-tighten, and I just check the blade alignment. Looks good. Shake out what I can, and then I dip it in some rubbing alcohol. This is just over-the-counter rubbing alcohol. This is an old pickle jar I took the label off of. I've had this jar uh, filled with rubbing alcohol. I've had to replace it once since, still strong, since I started shaving, wet shaving. Um, then I just take the razor, I dip it in here, just kind of mix it around. So the hope there is that it cleans it off a little bit and also alcohol is more volatile than water. Volatile just means that it evaporates more quickly. And so as part of that, I hope that the alcohol in here not only gets the water off there, because water will cause rust and degradation of your blade if it's left on there. Um, so the goal with rinsing with alcohol is that it gets off the water off the blade and you're replacing it with alcohol which would evaporate more quickly and then I take it got my little stand here and it's just going to sit right there and dry so it's a nice easy little setup um, very easy to do and you know I don't know if it makes a huge difference it's just something I do at least it makes me feel like I'm uh, actively participating in uh, keeping the blade um, in top condition so it'll last as long as possible. So anyway, that's what I do after literally every single shave and I'm definitely doing that today. Alright, post-shave, I'm going to be putting on some of the matching test depth aftershave from Reef Point Soaps. Excellent scent on this stuff.
a little bit of a burn, not much. This is alcohol based. Uh, there's definitely some menthol in there. I can, my eyes can feel that. So there's a denatured alcohol, water, glycerin, fragrance, and menthol. Clean fragrant list on here for sure. Really, really nice. Uh, really nice stuff. So anyway, that's today's shave. Now I'm going to be blinking because there's a little bit of menthol in there. Not a huge kick, but it always makes me blink after I do it. So anyway, that's a little clean up there. Yep, one little nick right there. But overall, I'm very impressed with the Razor Rock Hawk. This is an awesome razor. This is $25 for the uh, black version. Um, I'm really excited to give this more of a try. It felt great there using it. It was... Uh, the blade in there is sharp, but it's not overly aggressive. You know, I felt like it was really good at getting the hairs off quickly, but it wasn't so aggressive that I needed to be like, oh, really careful with like how I was um, with my angle or pressure I was uh, using. It felt very, very natural. So that's really awesome. I'm really excited about this razor, and I look forward to using this for a full shave once I have this beard off. So got about half a month to go still, but uh, after that, I will. Uh, I'll be using this some among with other razors that I want to get to. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the views and comments and stay tuned. More videos to come.